Some comic book collectors can be a bit obsessive, but they've got nothing on this guy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of the collector. I present to you, Tanalir Tivath, the collector. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily focus on the storyline that unfolded in 1966's Avengers No. 28, which was expanded upon in Avengers No. 174 and 339. The Collector, also known as Tanalir Tivan, burst into the Marvel scene in Avengers 28, the same issue that brought Giant Man back into the Avengers fold, although he opted to adopt a new costume and name, Goliath, for the occasion. The reason for Goliath's return was the disappearance of his wife, the superheroine known as the Wasp. Once reunited with the Avengers, Goliath learned that a mysterious figure calling himself the Collector appeared to have captured the Wasp. Naturally, the Avengers take off to find and rescue their tiny teammate. Over the course of this first story, the Avengers find the Wasp and the evil Collector. The villain soon demonstrates that he is aptly named as his obsession is scouring the universe for interesting creatures, gadgets, and weapons, which he then adds to his massive collection. It soon becomes clear that a full team of superheroes, like the Avengers, is next on his list of must-haves. The Dubatter has access to a wide array of weapons, thanks to his habit of accumulating items. When defeat seemed imminent, he used a special time travel device to escape, leaving the heroes none the wiser about where he came from or how he came to be. That mystery wouldn't be cleared up until 1978's Avengers number 174, 12 years later. The Collector had once again returned with the goal of expanding his collection by capturing the Avengers. Once he is defeated, Iron Man demands an explanation of why he is doing the things he does. The Collector complies with a compact, one-page summary of his origins. It turns out that the Collector is one of the Elders of the Universe, a group of ancient beings blessed with special gifts, and his was the gift of prophecy. Using that gift, the Collector saw that one day the evil being known as Thanos would rise up and threaten the existence of the universe. That didn't sit well with the Collector, who didn't want all of the incredible creatures and civilizations of the galaxy to be totally destroyed. So he set about collecting specimens to save from Thanos' evil. After Thanos was defeated, the Collector continued with his hobby, for his gift had revealed that an even greater menace was coming, Korvac, another being intent on universal domination. Korvac eventually killed the Collector before his secret identity could be revealed to the Avengers. Of course, it takes a lot to really kill an Elder of the Universe. The Collector came back several times, and in 1991, a bit more of his origin was revealed. After tricking the Avengers to help him recapture some dangerous beings he had allowed to escape from his collection, the villain revealed his true alien form to his enemies. Further, the Collector revealed that his real motivations for his actions were not simply to save samples of races and worlds in the event of cosmic annihilation. Really, it's that collecting is in his genes. As he explains to the Watcher, he has a mania for collecting that he simply cannot control. The Collector has continued to pop up in the Marvel Universe, always intent on collecting, but sometimes with a more benevolent goal of collecting to save remnants of civilizations. He most recently popped up in the form of Benicio Del Toro at the end of Thor, The Dark World, and in Guardians of the Galaxy. One down. Five to go. Are you a fan of this obsessive supervillain? For more super top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.